There's a guy in here. What's up guys? Today we're going to be covering something that you guys have frequently requested, and that is the grenade launchers. I purposely left these guys off of their respective class lists because we're going to be measuring them a little bit different, and I think it's hard to really compare them with the other weapons in the game. So without further ado, let's get into it with the pump action grenade launcher from the medium class, the CL-40. This is a pretty unique weapon that feels a lot like the old Call of Duty Black Ops China Lake. It recently just had the blast radius buffed, but we are going to start the time to kill testing with its direct impact damage. The CL-40 can kill one heavy with four direct impact shots. Direct impact damage is going to be the highest damage you can do with this gun. As we move to the splash damage test, you'll see how much less damage the blast radius does and how much more time is needed because you'll have to do a partial reload to finish the kill on a heavy as it now will take you five shots for the finish. This gun is pretty underwhelming versus the heavy, but it does look a little more promising against the other classes. I'm still not a huge fan of this gun in actual gameplay, but if you're just going off these tests, you could talk yourself into trying it out. With a three shot to kill off direct impact damage, this gun is okay time to kill. You can four shot the medium dummy with splash damage, so in theory you could fairly consistently one clip a medium with this gun. I say in theory because I'm not sure if it's the way the blast damage is registered in real game scenarios or if it's just the blast radius itself, but when you use this in actual games, it doesn't always feel like it's doing this much damage. This does absolutely wallop the light class dummies and two shots them off direct impact and splash damage, so like every other gun in this game, it absolutely dominates the light class. The last test for this gun is going to be its destructive damage against buildings. The pump grenade launcher can destroy a basic wall in 8 shots, which is 2 full clips of this gun. This is kind of slow in my opinion, but with the quick shell loading 2.3 reload time, it's not necessarily awful. Overall, I think this gun could use a little buff, but I could also see it quickly becoming overtuned if they buffed it too much, but give it a try and let me know what you all think of it. Moving on to the MGL-32 from the Heavy class, we have the very fun, rapid firing, round drum grenade launcher. The first thing you will notice about this gun is that it does no direct impact damage, so we will only be measuring it off of splash damage. Its damage isn't bad, but the bouncing grenades can be pretty hard to land on targeting game. I found it somewhat consistent to aim right in front of the target to bounce it in place, but that will change as your angle changes when you're actually playing in tournaments. The actual damage of this gun is honestly pretty good. It's more impressive against mediums with a fast 4 shot kill. Because of the harder to control bouncing projectiles, this gun is probably best used for chaotic suppressing fire to destroy enemy setups and weaken enemies for your team to clean up. Like everything else, it completely annihilates lights in 2 shots. You can really spray shots out fast with this launcher, but it's probably more fun than it is effective, at least when it comes to winning. It has a decent reload time for how many shots you get with it, but it does take 8 shots to destroy a basic wall. These are both really fun launchers, but I would probably recommend just running frag grenades or C4 over either of these in their current states. But let me know down in the comments what you guys think of them, and be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it. As always, thanks for watching.